Today we will be making this luxurious concept bottle. Of course, to begin with, we will need a cube in our scene. First, what we gotta do is just make sure it looks like a bottle. To scale it on a Z axis. We will extrude and scale and extrude again on the Z axis. Let's just adjust it so it looks something like a bottle. Add some edge loops in this position right click to reset other direction we have to just add in this direction now that we have done that first of all let's just delete these faces press x and delete these faces at the bottom uh, let's just delete these faces by pressing x and faces now selecting this edge loop selecting these and press f and it will fill it we have to make it somewhat spherical so add edge loops in between right here I would add 5 by scrolling and that should do. Now selecting all in the edit mode, press Alt Shift and S. So it gives me the power to convert it into something spherical. This much should do for right now. Now to fine tune it, let's go back to into edit mode, selecting this edge, scale it on the Z and press 0 and enter. Same we have to do for the bottom, scale it. Z0 and enter. Also you can adjust this one as well. One last thing we have to do is selecting the edge loop. Again press Alt Shift S so we can make it a perfect circle. For that just press 1 while you have already pressed the Alt Shift S and left click and it gives you a perfect circle. Same you have to do it for the bottom. 1 and boom. Do the same for this one because this looks really weird. Don't worry it looks ugly but it won't after we apply our sauce. Let's just adjust this one as well. Scale it on the Z because it's an E1 and enter. And let's just scale it in a bit like that. Bring it a little up. That would do. Apply our sauce. To achieve that result is selecting this. Go to the modifiers. In the modifiers, select the decimate. And change the method to unsubdivide. And change the iteration to 1. Boom. You got the result. Let's fine tune it a bit more, edit more, selecting this as you do, I will bevel it. So this one becomes a little bit sharp. As you can see, let's add a modifier called bevel. Let's just reduce down the amount of bevel, change the segment to 3. And also, as you can see, we are not able to cover some angle. To fix that, just change the angle amount to 0 and boom, it will cover everything now. You can right click shade smooth if you want. That looks really good. To give it a little bit thickness, which is solidify and let's increase the thickness like that well it's giving some weird result but that's all right we can use this before the bevel and that should solve the problem it's time for us to set our scene i will show you some special salts after this all right this for a bottle this one is really big let's just add a plane to the scene now as compared to the scene the plane the bottle is way too large don't apply a scale on it if you apply a scale it will give you some weird results so don't apply scale i'm in the side view add a camera to our scene shift a camera that should do portrait mode so i will change to 1080 by 1920 and look through the camera um that should do let's edit this background extrude it on the z direction like this so it has a backdrop and selecting this edge just bevel it as many times as you want enter right click shade smooth that should do let's just change and change it to cycles gpu compute and let's add some lights to our scene oof too powerful too powerful now let's set the material go to the materials tab click on new now change the transmission to full one after that use the roughness a bit to 0.2 can change it to your liking and let's change the color to cyan cyan or cyan whatever you call it i think i should reduce the solidify a little bit now i will add a area light again move it to the back of our object move this one up just move the backdrop a little bit behind let's just divide this area so we can see the result Let's just clip the render region. You can set up the scene properly. Adjust the lighting. One light will go from behind. Something like this. So it, our bottle looks a bit brighter. Where's that spread? Yeah, spread. We have reduced the spread so that there's no harsh light on the bottom of the floor. And it's only affecting the bottle. That looks really good. Let's just change the color of background as well. Go to new. Let's set it to a light cyan color. Selecting this. To give it more dramatic more luxurious look 
we'll add two lights on the sides now i don't want to rotate every time so selecting the light go to object constraint the constraint track to and i will just select the bottle and i'll same duplicate this one again change the axis just the lighting position so i can get some reflection right here now to get that different look what you can do is is that a simple trick and it's a very cheap trick selecting the bottle you can go to the solidify modifier in the normals section here just click on flip and look at that that beautiful render i mean it's a cheap way it's not supposed to be used nobody would want to flip the normals because that's a crime but i will do it now you can just get a beautiful render also i would like to add a cylinder to the scene let's just change the number to i guess six would do and that looks something like a cap change give it some materials apply the skill give it some bevels oh, that's too much bro that's too much now this beautiful bottle render is ready i really like it and you can make the same too this is a really good way to give a better visualization to your client just look at that bottle <sighs> Okay, alright guys, if you love this tutorial and you wish to watch more of my tutorials in future as well as you can see my past videos as well. So make sure to subscribe and if you like this video, you can like and comment down if you have any doubts. I will be happy to solve your all doubts. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.